Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the spark plug on a Makita cutoff saw and it's model EK6101. Now it's really rare that I make a video on how to replace a spark plug on something, but this one here is not the average piece of equipment to replace a spark plug. You have to remove some covers with this one. You need a Torx screwdriver. Actually it's a Torx number T27 and you need to remove the two screws here. or at least loosen them from the saw. Pull the cover. And now you need to remove the three Torx screws over here. And there's two on this side. And now you need to remove the T27 Torx screw right here. And there's the spark plug. So just remove the spark plug boot. Grab your wrench. It's a three quarter or 19 millimeters. Get your plug out. So you can use an NGK BPMR 7A. You can use an NGK BPM 7A, Bosch W6RF, I believe. Always double check before you replace the spark plug. And usually the plug's good to go right out of the box. The gap is usually good here at 30,000 seven inch or a bit less. And I always recommend that you start it up with your fingers. Sometimes if you use the socket, you can strip the threads. And now just grab your wrench, tighten it up, use common sense. And when you put a new plug, you're going to have to tighten a little more because you're squashing the washer on the spark plug. And I believe the torque spec for the spark plug is 28 Newton meters or 20 foot pounds. Get your cap back on. Now on this saw, because it's a lot of work to replace the spark plug, it's a good time to clean around the carburetor, the air filter, and all this area here. Now install this cover back on with the air filter. Now make sure you have not put the bolt back in here first. It's very difficult to install the cover if the bolt's back in. So just line it all up here. Now I'm just going to start the screws with my impact and I will finish tightening them off by hand. Try to tighten up the cover evenly. And now just go around each screw, finish tightening them up evenly and by hand. And now's a perfect time to clean your air filter or replace it. Make sure you clean all inside here as well. And if you do need to replace the filter on this saw, this is the part number right here. And now install the cover. You want to get these in the grooves or notches over here. Again, I'll just start the screws with the impact, finish off by hand. Now what you want to do is install this part with the screw that goes through the handle here. One quick tip is line up the anti-vibe, the spring, to the hole in the handlebars here because the screw is going to go through there and screw into that anti-vibe. So keep pressure on the engine, get that bolt started and then tighten it up by hand. And use common sense, you want this fairly tight. There's a lot of vibrations on these saws. So that's all there is guys. It's good to know the little tricks when you're replacing a spark plug on something you're not sure, especially when it's a new item like that. There's a lot of covers on this one. Just follow my instructions and uh, you'll be okay. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and have a good day.